Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Brixis India, Design Sense Software Technologies. Design Sense is the distributor for BricsCAD in India. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my blog posts which talk about the freeware collection in CAD Power. We have a bunch of tools in our CAD Power software which are designated as freeware tools, which means they never expire even beyond the 30 day trial period. The freeware tools were created with an intention of making it easy for AutoCAD users to transition to BricsCAD. They provide some of the common tools that Express Tools of AutoCAD and native AutoCAD itself provides, which are yet not found in BricsCAD. You can look up these tools in this article, which you can find in my blog, which is rakeshrao.typepad.com. The first such freeware tool that I'm going to talk about is the filter command. This is an often asked command which users miss when they start using BricsCAD because it's not there in the native software. It's available here in CAD Power under the selection tools, object selection filter and works identically like in AutoCAD. You can run it from the command line by typing CP underscore filter or even simply filter. The next tool that I want to show you is called WBlock BC. WBlock BC is nothing but write block but it preserves AutoCAD map data. So let's say you're working on an AutoCAD map drawing in BricsCAD and if you do a save as you might lose your AutoCAD map data. For example your AutoCAD map object table or your topology links might get lost. So if you use WBlock BC command from CAD Power it will ensure that such data is stored. So you can find this tool in CAD Power, Miscellaneous, CAD Procedures, Second Set, WBlock and Preserve AutoCAD Map Objects. So that's available on the command line also by typing CP underscore WBlock. The third tool that I'm going to talk about is called T-Orient. The T-Orient command is text orient. You can find it in CAD Power, Text, Display, Make Text and M-Text Readable. For example, CAD Power, Text, display text orient. So the T orient command is available in AutoCAD and now you can access it in BricsCAD as well. It just makes the text and M text upright so that they are readable. The next command that we want to talk about is called convert poly. This command is available in some of the recent versions of BricsCAD but it wasn't available earlier so we created it from version 16 of BricsCAD itself and it is used to convert polylines from heavyweight to lightweight. You can access it from the conversion tools, polyline types, heavyweight to lightweight and lightweight to heavyweight. So next we talk about CHKS Quick. So CHKS Quick is nothing but a very quick version of the CHKS command of CAD Power, which allows you to change the case of tools from uppercase to lowercase real quick by just selecting it. So this command is provided as an option for those AutoCAD users who are used to changing the case on the command line. It's available under text and conversion. So for example, CAD power, text, conversion, change case. You have insert vertex in hatch boundary. So normally in BricsCAD, you cannot add a new vertex to the existing hatch boundary but using the hatch ins vx command, you can easily add a new vertex to the boundary. Please be aware that if you click on the hatch vx link here, it opens the online help for cat power and you can get more information about the command. So these commands are provided based on an inspiration from what AutoCAD does. AutoCAD has got native tools to add and delete vertices from hatch boundaries. BricsCAD lacks that feature as of yet and we have provided that in cat power. The next three commands you see here relate to viewport. So we have a command to lock the current viewport, unlock the current viewport and lock selected viewports. So it's available in AutoCAD easily and now it's available in BricsCAD also via cat power. There is a small graphical interface which allows you to select the different layouts and based on that it tells you how many viewports are locked and how many viewports are unlocked. Next we have a very useful command here called move back. Again, something AutoCAD has, but BricsCAD doesn't. So the move back command is used to move the .bak backup file to a specified folder. So you need to specify in advance a folder where you want to move the back files and it automatically gets moved to that folder each time you save the drawing. 
so that's the move back command so as you can see all you need to do is first go and type cp underscore move back and you specify the folder where you want to put your back file by default it is the temp folder or whatever is specified in your system variable and once you do that all you need to do is just type move back and your back folder is set we have two more viewport related commands maximize a paper space viewport that's vp max and restore the maximized view to original after running vp max so that's called vp max restore both these are available in autocad and now in brickscad as well the next freeware command that we want to tell you about is text mask it's under cat power text display text mask so text mask puts a mask under your text so that it will neatly hide anything that is under it burst is a very popular autocad command which is provided through express tools and it explodes blocks which are unevenly scaled or which are difficult to explode through the normal means it also explodes the blocks with the attributes and converts the attributes into text so the burst command also is available in brickscat now grip hatch is yet another very handy tool which displays the grips in hatches so you can now by typing grip hatch you can display all the grips in hatches so the next two commands that we want to talk about are some of our recent additions cp underscore recovery manager is available in cat power miscellaneous file management and this is the familiar drawing recovery manager from autocad now available in brickscat this tool tracks the autosave file that is created in the temp folder and restores the latest version available and offers to copy it to the same folder as your current drawing the recovered file has a name which is drawing underscore recover dot dwg and it functions almost identically to the autocad tool the last command that we want to talk about is cp underscore dwg set which is quick drawing settings it is available in the brickscad plus menu at the very end you have support and in support at the last item you have drawing settings the drawing settings is a command which has already been covered in another video in detail and it allows you to set some of the most commonly asked settings by a first time brickscad user so once again this is a freeware tool and this is a transitioning tool which means it's useful for those who are first time users transitioning from autocad to brickscad so stuff like how do i change my background color how do i change my pick box aperture snap size cursor size and so on these commonly asked questions are very easily accessible and provided in front of you using the dwg set command so in this case the dwg set command is nothing but a quick interface to accessing the settings as you know the settings is quite exhaustive very powerful searchable but nevertheless for a first time user it might take that little extra effort to search what he wants so we have made that transition easier by providing it in drawing settings these are some of the freeware tools that we have in cat power over time we intend to add new tools and the way we do it is by real experience from the ground that we get when we meet new brickscad users or even veteran users who are wanting to, who want to do things faster in cat power our philosophy is that any tool that helps you to make the transition from autocad to brickscad easier we want to offer it to you as a freeware tool which means we want to make our freeware tools available to just about any brickscad user all over the world they can just download our cat power trial use it for 30 days and beyond 30 days the rest of the commands will not work but your freeware tools will continue to work forever i hope you find this video useful and do let me know if you have any questions do also let me know if you have any more ideas for what you think will qualify as a freeware tool